so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 5.4 on page number 224 so in this problem we are given with that suppose the magnetic field in the some region has formed a b is equal to kz x cap so we need to find the force on the square loop lying in the yz plane and centered at origin and it is carrying current i flowing counter clockwise so this question would be much simpler if he is not given this line the line which says centered at origin so um, we need to, in that case we didn't do not need to specify the coordinates and other things so now let us tackle this problem that is saying centered at origin so if the center is at origin we will write the coordinates as the following that at coordinate at b will be negative of, and the plane is yz plane remember so i am talking about y only yz here the x is zero all all the way in the whole all, all of the diagram so b is uh, minus a by root 2 and a by root 2 c is a by root 2 a by root 2 d is a by root 2 comma minus a by root 2 and a is uh, both are negative as you uh, i hope you understood how they are coming so b is given here as we know that force force is equal to integration of i dl cross b where dl is the length element i is the current and b is the magnetic field remember magnetic field should be uniform here uh, i'll tell you why so first of all force at ab is given by i and the length element dz why dz because uh, at ab only dz is changing y is constant as you can see Minus a by root two here also minus a by root. So that is why dz is changing. So that is why d, we have taken dz writing the uh, b, uh, b here k k into z. So k cross the direction of uh, force will be k cross i cap. Why? Because the length element is in the k direction and b is in the i direction. So uh, on solving we get i into z dz k into j cap. Why j cap? Because k cap cross i cap is j cap. I hope you know that. They are cyclic. So uh, putting the the z uh, as you can see z is uh, oh sorry we cannot put directly z here because z z is changing. So we need to integrate. So on integration we get k i into z square by two and the limits see the limits limits from a to b from a we have minus a by root two and to b we have k by root two. So according to this lim uh, we get the force is equal to zero. So now at force at BC, so BC is kz uh, into the length element. Now is y, uh, it is y-axis, so length element will be dy and z. And you can see z is constant here, and uh, y is changing. That is why we have taken dy. And uh, dy is j cap. You all know that. And magnetic field is in the uh, i cap direction. So j cap cross i cap is minus k cap. That is why I have written minus k cap here. So force becomes k i into this is the value of z that is constant a by root two, and direct I have put in the limits directly here. You can understood by uh, taking it from minus a by root two to a by root two. You can get it. So here comes the forces k i a square. Now for C D, we can see that k i z in uh, the similar case as we have done in B uh, uh, A B. It is also just a similar case. Just the limits are up and down. so i hope you can understand but uh, the main thing is dz dz here is uh, minus uh, k cap all right and uh, b is i cap so minus k cap cross i cap we get minus j cap and one negative from the limits also i have switched the limit that is why that negative sign has been compensated in the limits i hope you can understand that uh, so the, in this case case also the force becomes zero now coming to the Uh, da part da is also similar to bc will uh, take the limits and other things and dy is here in this case is minus j cap because we are coming in the downward direction and magnetic field is i cap so j cap minus j cap cross i cap is k cap that is why i have written k cap here switching uh, putting the limits and getting so the force at da is minus so net force net force Net force is equal to f of a b b c plus c d plus d a. 
you can see you can see that this is also zero this is positive k e square k i e square this is also zero and this is negative k i i square so net force is zero in this case so we can prove it all directly also uh, as you know that the uh, force on a closed loop for remember always remember remember that if the magnetic field is uniform i was talking in the starting that if the magnetic field is uniform that is important so if the magnetic field is uniform and the dl element will always provide you zero why because uh, for a closed loop dl is zero here after uh, on integration in the closed loop so b is b is uniform i is also uniform uh, not changing so uh, the for competitive exams you can directly say that for closed loops if b is uniform the net magnetic force in that closed loop will be zero uh, you need not to prove all these that i have done so the shortcut trick is this one only so for a closed loop if magnetic field is uniform you can directly say that f net is zero so that's all for this video see you in next video bye bye